What is going on YouTube? We are out here. We are playing. We are vibing. We're hanging out. How are you guys doing? I do appreciate anybody who's stopped by who's uh, hit that like button or anything. I do appreciate it. Uh, we are going to be playing some railroads online. I'm going to crack open a cola. Coca-Cola, if you will. I'm a little thirsty. We're going to get right to it. Okay, so first things first, I need to switch over to our gameplay. So here is our gameplay, and it's got our game going. I'm actually going to do some here real quick to get some music. Hey, Kogashiba, how you doing? I was wondering if you were going to join our other stream that we did. Um, it was a little satisfactory stream or whatnot, but it didn't really end up going too well, so... But it is nighttime, so I want to adjust that. Uh, let me know how the audio is and everything as well. That is not the right spot. Gameplay. We're going to do custom weather and get it going here. I hope you are doing good, Kokoshibo. It's been a minute. So I am here still at Lake Valley, or the Lake Valley, the logging camp here, and we are going to get going to the uh, sawmill. We're going to drop these logs off. We're going to see how it goes and, you know, just see what's going on. So first things first, uh, let's check. Does it like turn the brakes off or anything when we... Uh, no brakes on that one um we did i did turn to realistic and hard mode and uh so we are gonna be actually playing realistic and hard settings but i did only buy these or i didn't even buy any cars these are just the two cars that came when you started uh so let's go ahead and hop into the Montezuma. zoom out here a bit uh we are running a little low on fuel um i did not I did lie to the video. I did not get our uh, water filled up. So we need to do that at some point. So let's go ahead and blow this whistle here and let's get on rolling forward. All right. So I hope everybody's doing well. All right, so we're going to be chugging along here. We're going to get going, as you may see. I'm going to start off slow here. We're gonna get on rolling. Hope everybody's doing good. Do appreciate anybody who has stopped by. Who has hit that like button. Who has been here for a while. I do appreciate your guys' support. It does mean a lot to me. So, 
We are moving along, chugging along here very good. It's going just fine here. I do love the realistic chugging settings now. That is awesome. So we're going to get on rolling. Um, I think everything should be good to go to go down to the sawmill. And we can drop these logs off. That's all we can really do at this moment. But when we get down there, we can maybe go ahead and build out the, uh, the way to the lumber and beams section. So let's go ahead and turn up the speed here. And I think I'm going to hop out of the mode here. And we're going to grab some fuel here. I'm getting a little bit of it. full speed oh we can try it oh that is loud full speed you say kokushibo it might be a little scary Let's go ahead and give that regulator up. We'll turn that reverser up. Let's see how it goes. There we go. I hope it's looking good for you guys as we go through here. Oh yeah ghost track there i'm getting a little bit of frame drop i don't know what's going on i think i have maybe some open that couldn't be open right now. uh yeah i got like everything open and i shouldn't have it open no we need steam open we can exit those maybe that'll help all right Monty Zuma is chugging right along. going full speed that should be lined up to go to the left that's a kind of weird how it does that all the way to the right to the left oh whoa 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 okay well we derailed what the heck? I looked down for one second. And we derailed. So we can get this handy dandy uh, re-rail thing. Okay. Cool. Actually not too bad. Gotta get up and rail, re-rail tender. Oh, yep. There we go. Tokushibo, I went at full speed. I think we went too quick around that bend there. All right. Got everything back on the track. We need to make sure everything's still ready to 
Let's go ahead and add that. All right. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse. Put the regulator on. We're going to go slow, of course. Alright, and then we need to put the link and pins in these guys. Alright. Let's go ahead and get on backed up. I don't even know how I even derailed. That is that is a really good question. Just happened, I think. I think something with the, the glitchiness of what I was doing, getting off and on screen, maybe that happened. I, I really don't know. But we are getting hooked back up now. Okay. Hundred percent and we are gonna do about twenty one percent. Oh we got brakes on. That brake's not on. Okay, why isn't it moving now? They have that old tug thing. Ugh. Tug a tug. Oh, because that car is still derailed. I can see it now. Alright. Let's uh, get back out then. And we got to re-reel this one. But where is it going? This is all for flat. There you go. Okay. And I think that is fine with me. Um, let's go ahead and get that backed up again. Hopefully this time we ain't got no problems. Okay, so these cars are good, obviously. Yeah. Kokushibo, I have no clue on how I actually derailed, to be honest with you. That is crazy to just derail like that. Oh, it's something with the track. Hold on. My track. Hey, Kokushibo. This is why I derailed. You tree. That tree is definitely on the track. That is great. That is just great. To see that. Thought I got them all. Now let's just hope we got them all, you know? Didn't. Then we might be in for another real treat somewhere down the line. I must have missed those. Those trees were... was def That tree was definitely on the track now. Oh, we got the brake on now. All right, brake is undone, so we should be able to roll this train backward. Oh, 
Hopefully this time we won't do any derailing. This isn't derail valley. This is railroads online. All right. Now we should be able to have a nice nice uh, track rate. Track rate? I don't know. Should be good now. Should be good to go. I'm hoping at least. Oh yeah. I hope the sound's doing okay for you guys. I hope it's uh, working well. We are chugging along nicely here. And we are zooming. So yeah, there's this like couple trees nearby I didn't get. Kind of in a rush to start running some trains, you know? You, you're always wanting to run trains, right? And you gotta do all the prep work. And I think there's another tree there. I should probably stop. There's something there that it just... Wow. They really like to get you, huh? So I think we're going to need to turn this light on and watch for trees on track. I guess I didn't even realize I didn't, I didn't get the small little buggers. So we got to make sure we get those on our way through. So let's redo the brake there, turn it off. And let the train roll. Go ahead and grab some fuel. Throw it into the hatch. We'll open the hatch first. Yeah, throw that in there. And let's get on rolling. Hopefully this time we're doing a little bit of nighttime running. I'm hoping I'm hoping it looks okay for you guys. Uh, but yeah, we we did have some trees on the track already. Some tiny trees, some baby trees that I did not see. So. Yeah, we need to actually turn this train around too, because I didn't really want the train coming in this way to the uh, logging farm. But I, I have an idea of how to fix that. I think we should make a pass around track somewhere around here or even by the logging camp so that we can get the train to pass around it. And even if we want to flip it around, I don't know if that's gonna be really necessary. Um, I'm gonna slow down the reverser here uh, when, once we get to the sawmill, it's just a bumper at the end with the uh, trees. So we got to be careful with that when it comes there. Um, I hope everybody's enjoying their day. I hope everybody having a great Friday. Um, it's a good Friday. Let's go ahead and have a great. Uh, so yeah, that track should be aligned right. Let's go ahead and just keep on going. See what happens. Yep, we are good. We are good. And if you guys have any tips or tricks for me, that would be awesome to hear. Um, cause some, some of this stuff is like pretty much brand new to me. Like this whole UI for the, uh, the bell, the sander and all this. Ooh, cylinder cock. Probably, uh, did I turn them off? I'm gonna turn them off. Sometimes my mouse likes to double click. So yeah, we got the uh, Montezuma working just fine here, chugging right along. We are on realistic and hard settings for the factories. And, you know, we're just chilling. I, we're vibing, and I hope you guys are hanging out and enjoying the game as well. Uh, yeah, so let me um, get over to the logging camp before, or the, the sawmill here. And then let me show you something. This is this is something that blows my mind, Kokushibo. I don't know if this blows your mind. You probably know about it already. Uh, we do have a grade here, like one percent. I think the most of my grade is one percent here. I wanted to make sure it's easy on the Monte. Uh, we most parts is going to be half a percent. We're going to try going as flat as possible. Uh, but we're also going to be realistic as possible too. So if we want to do some steep grades, we can do some steep grades. But that is up to you guys. This is going to be a series for me. Not all, not only for me. For me to play, but for you guys to determine most of the stuff. 
as long as you guys want to. I mean, if you guys don't want to comment along, you know, enjoy it, that's fine. I don't have any problem. Uh, we're going to slow the reverser down. We got the. We're going to just coast on in, I think. Let's see what happens if we just coast right on in. But I did. I do think gold got added. Um, I just don't know how that all works yet. I'm fairly new to all this new stuff. And so, I mean, if anybody has uh, suggestions or tips, tricks, comments, you can also try to implement them into the game as well. Uh, we're getting to the sawmill there. It's kind of loud. So let me know if this is too loud for you guys. Oh, wrong one. Let's go ahead and throw that brake on. The wood has been delivered to the sawmill. Let's go ahead and drop it off completely. Let's get that baby out of our way. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you got a tiny log car. How much did that buy? Huh. Let's go ahead and enter that one. Here. One, two, three. That's cool. I think this train can't go sleep on tracks. Um, nobody should be sleeping on the tracks now, Shibo. That is dangerous. Okay, so if we go to G, this was new to me right here. Industries and props. So the props are pretty cool. Um, maybe I should back away from the sawmill. I'm gonna try to explain something. Let's go by the bumper. Pine Valley Lumber Co. But it's we're in Lake Valley. So as you guys may see here, you can add a logging camp in, sawmills, smelters, ironworks, oil field refinery, right? Iron ore mine, coal mine, freight depot, water well, wheat farm, cattle farm. Meat packing plant. A dredge. Whoa. Oh yeah, this this dredge delivers the gold ore. Or. Hmm. That is cool. So we can eventually put dredges out here, or a dredge out here for gold ore. Uh, we got, oh, that's kind of cool how I just swapped back into my spot. Uh, we got the dredge, so that looks like it produces the gold, gold ore. We have the gold mine. Oh, wait a second, what? Hang on, we got a wiki. So, industries. So, we got the meat packing plant, water well. Uh, looks like... This is just another way of getting water. Oh, for the the uh, cows. So yeah, here's the gold mine, Kokushibo. Um, we also have the dredge, floating mining machine, used for washing gold. Oh, so we need to bring. Oh, it produces gold ore just like the mine. Okay. The stamp mill the process the plant where it in processes the gold ore into gold dust finer pieces okay we have our smelter the fine gold from the stamp mill will come here to cast into gold ingot and we have the railway express agency the end point of the gold That's cool. All right, let's go ahead and so we just fill up this lumber yard. Well, we need to fill up our water. Do you think our what kind of water tower should we put in? This has a hose. Is this gonna work? Hang on, let's just put it in the old, the old water mill. Water mill. 
uh, water tower. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to back the train up here. And we are going to see how far it needs to go in order for us to fill it up with some water. And then I think we're going to work on some of the track work to get the beams and lumber going. Uh, we do still, we didn't buy anything with the money that we start out with. So we can buy something if we would like to. But I do appreciate you sticking around, hanging out. I do appreciate anybody who stopped by and said hi. Who's just been hanging out? Oh, the water tower is empty right now. Okay. That's a new feature. There's no one the track is. You know, Kokushiwa, that is a good question. I honestly don't know. I know they have added a plow and stuff. I just don't know if it's functional. Um, so we need to move this water tower, unfortunately. Demolish facilities. Bam. We ain't got no water tower. Let's go ahead and... See what we can do. I think that's probably too close. Now. Oh, it's way too far. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I got some getting used to this game. Okay, uh, but I do need to look into that. I don't know if the snow will affect your game. Let's try it right there. What do you guys think? Do you think this is going to work? Let's turn the regulator just a little bit above zero. And let's go ahead and push on up here and see what we can do here. I want water for this bad dude. All right, let's see. Wait a second. Was anybody going to tell me? Was anybody going to tell me? That's sand. The water comes back here. What the heck, guys? Wow, I am lacking. Okay. Wow, that is funny. That is too funny to me. They added the big plow, big snow plow, so snow must derail the trains now. I, I, again, I, I've seen that they added that. I didn't look into anything though. I, I need to start looking at some videos, but I really just haven't had the interest to watch videos. Oh. Well, it needs to be closer now. Okay. No, we could just use a water tower at the 
base. And you know what? That's what we're gonna do. Oh! Hello, sound. Alright, so we're gonna run this train in reverse. Back to the freight depot. You need to know what we could do? Go to the freight depot. The train's on its way anyways, right? Go ahead and run towards the tracks here. Get them switched over. Okay. So when we run over here, we can actually get this switch switched too. It looks like it's about to be daytime. So sorry if you can't really see much. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and run over here and get this switch switched. And then we're going to just back the train right into the depot. And then get the water going. Maybe we should go find the train. You think the train's still coming? I would assume so. Let's go ahead and run over there. Let's see what what's going on. And the sun is now Oh wow, we're flying. Jump. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do the water tower near the freight depot. And we're just going to let it sit there while we run some track. And that is why we are running our back. Appreciate anybody stopping by, saying hi, watching the video, hanging out, live streaming with us, just chilling. It is awesome to see everybody once again back, me being back on YouTube. It's just, I don't know. I do apologize for the long absence. That is, that is for sure. I do apologize. But let's get rolling. We got trains to move. We got things to do. We got people to see and wood to load. Yes. So I was looking at the audience and stuff, the audience level of my analytic. I've seen most people, um, uh, most of my views come from, like, not my video views, but, like, my short views. Those people, they'll go watch the short, but they won't come and check out any of my videos. Which, so, you guys have any ideas of how we can try to get people from the shorts side of things to come over and watch some of our Railroads Online videos? That is a good question. That is something I want to try and figure out. We can get some more of that. We got 82% that watched shorts only in the last 80, 28 days. That were returning viewers. And about 3% that did both. So That 3% true hero. No, I didn't want to keep this channel dead for too long. I wanted to come back. I really did. And now that I had this opportunity to buy this cheaper PC to stream on, I think it kind of jumped me forward into the whole streaming aspect. So let's go ahead and just keep the break on 20%. Come on, water. Come on, water. You know you want to come out. All right. Uh oh. Uh, how do we... Not filling. Need to bring it up.
That should be good, right? Yep, we're filling up. We are filling up the old Montezuma. Let's go ahead and just let her be. Oh, uh, we could buy some more rolling stock. Probably some more of these guys. They're cheap. They're three feet. Oh, well, I guess they're not. So there's some state cars that we can buy. Oh, this is cordwood and straw bale. Tools, iron ore, coal, oil barrels. Okay. Can I get closer to it? Oh, yeah, you can. So, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. A medium gondola. Oh, so this must just hold more. Whoa, look at that dump car. That is crazy. I haven't really looked at too much of this stuff. Oh, so you can get a boxcar for cheap now, huh? Okay. Ooh. How many logs can these hold? Whoa. We got a lot of things to deal with now. Oh, our cabooses. There's the snow plow. We got some coaches. Baggage car. And car. Oh, the good old Betsy. Porter 2. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who is this bad baby? I like it. Oh, it's a coal. That is cute. That is a good train. That might be something we go towards. Okay. A good old class 48. Montezuma. Oh, the Eureka. Glenbrook. Good old Glenbrook. Does it take coal now? No. Wood. Yep, these guys are coal, though. Okay. So it tells you right here. Climax. The Heisler. So our good old... Good old geared locos. Whoa. I like that red. That is crazy. We got the Shea. The Mosca. Oh, the good old Mosca. Cook. The Cook Coal. So is that one stronger, or is it just coal? Just coal. Dang. That is one beast. $20,000? $20,000 loco? Class 125. Wow. That is a loco. That is a loco if I haven't seen one myself. So that is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Are we actually filling up the tender yet? Oh, it's almost done. Huh. I don't know. Okay, 
So let's go ahead. I think we'll just teleport back on to the sawmill here. And let's go ahead and run some track. It might be a little boring, but hey, let's do it. Um, I actually am going to adjust something quick. So you guys can have a little bit of background music for if it gets quiet. Um, enjoy the rocks. Enjoy the rocks, everybody. Uh, let's go ahead and change that. Give me one second, y'all. I'm just trying to get my music over into my library here so we can keep it on shuffle. And it's repeating. So we are going to go ahead and fix my OBS settings here. There we go. Music should be back for you guys. There's a fast money trick. Okashibo. What is the fast money trick? Is it an exploit? I really like the fact of just being able to do something legit though. So if it's not like real legit, then I don't think, I don't know how much of it we're going to do. But all right, so let's go ahead. I don't know what should we should we do first. Should we um get some three feet, feet rail in here. Or should we just keep it going straight? We obviously do not want it in free form. Okay, so no, actually, let's do a, let's make that turn around quick, or that wrap around. I'm gonna do a wrap around. What I want to do is actually come over to this highly dense, densitized tree area, and I'm pretty sure this is. Oh no, it's not. It can be straighter though. If we remove this, we can, don't have to have it curve so much. Can place industries near each other. True. I think we'll make a turnaround here at the freight depot, like right here. So we just go teleported to the sawmill and then walk our happy butts back over to the freight depot. But hey, that's okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to turn this to rails and demolish this. So what we can do here, we can kind of build a little bit backwards. So we don't need to switch left. We want to go straight on this side and switch to the right, I think. And no, I am not unfortunately uh let's go ahead and do this one hit that oh yeah we'll get that guy going I'm trying to remember how to do that here we do a switch left like that this is just temporary guys we do a switch left like that and we go straight out and then we hit demolish And we go back to rail, go there, hit the freeform button, whatever you guys may have it set to. And there we go. We got a passing track started. 
And so what we could do from here, we probably want it pretty long. Do we have it long? We should probably have it long. So let's go ahead and just bring back that straight track back into itself here. I think we might just have a passing track up to the curve. That might sound decent. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out where we want to take out from and kind of put it back in, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and check it out. So from here, I think it's still okay. Um, We'll do it from there just to be safe switch right we don't want to switch right do we no we want to switch left in this case probably that one and now i switch right and there we go we got ourselves a turnout we'll do a free form here and go back to our lantern i guess it's kind of dark out get our lantern out and we're gonna run this track down to the end so we can have a nice passing track for long trains all right there we go that is one thing i remembered being able to put put in tracks like that I'm actually going to just go to gameplay, turn it to 60 minutes, and then we're going to go to seven. Get back, back, and play time. So what we can do here is, I don't know, do I want something to switch out from there? Probably not. That's probably pretty tight. We're just going to take that out. And we're going to go ahead and freeform our track back in. Same with that other one. I don't think it's going to matter too much. But I think it was mainly straight anyways. Let's go ahead and just freeform that track right back into our other here. And there we go. We have ourselves a nice long passing track. And yes, it's at the freight depot, but hey, centralized for now. We can put more passing tracks in when we need to. So if we need to flip our train around, push it from the back, you know, since we have so much room at the sawmill there, we can come here and do that. I do kind of want to make a shunting yard as well down there for longer trains when we get to that point. Right now, I don't think we need it too much. Let's go actually go grab our train. I think it should be good on water by now. We'll go grab our train and bring it with us. Why not? I am enjoying Railroads Online. The new updates have been awesome. Seeing it come go from where it was to now, that is crazy to see, honestly. Oh, we should probably bring that shoot up. You. Oh. Alright. Close that lid so we don't get no dirty water. Nice and closed. Alright, Kokoshibo. Full speed. Let's go ahead and grab some fuel. Put that in the hatch there. And I don't know, actually, we should, probably shouldn't be going too quick out of here. We're switching, switching speeds. How's that passing track looking, guys? Looking pretty good.
All right, let's bring that train back over to the sawmill and we will actually check out and see what what we can do with some track down there and lay some track out. Let's go ahead and speed up this train for you. Let's see how quick we can get her going before we derail maybe. I don't know. Are we going to derail? We're going 17 miles an hour. I think that might be the top speed on this one. I do like how you can select your own train or select from a few trains when you start first start. Gives you up. Alright, let's go ahead and put some brake on. We'll stop before the switch. All right, right there should be a good spot. Keep some brake on there. I think I'm gonna turn the light off for now. And let's see what we can do here. So let's go ahead and lay some track out here. Or should we go, maybe we should go to the sawmill and actually start from there and bring it back. Okay, so let's run on over here. And so I seen that you can kind of curve it. Oh, so we can kind of make a loop of this. Which will not be too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and flip this bad baby around. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Oh. I see what they did. Okay, let's go ahead and hit it with the 1,000 meter tiny segment. And see if we can get a little bit. Straight. And so we'll set it back straight. That looks pretty good. So from here, you generally just need to curve. Curve like no other. And curve to the other way, I think. Yeah. Okay. So that'll be in the water. Well, we can do a little bit of water work here. Hang on. You guys want to see this here? Let's see. Let's see what we could do. Raise it up 5%, 5 there. And let's go ahead and let's play with some of the press bridge. Oh. Okay. Never mind. I see. We'll go ahead and just do a nice little bridge. 200 meters. Oh, that ain't going to work. That's going to be too long of a bridge. Hey, Red Boy, how are you doing? My favorite locomotive, I think, is going to be that $20,000 one. That one looks awesome. That one looks sick. You know what we could actually do? Just make a yard. We're gonna do some switching. Nothing, not everything has to be about continuous, right? But why don't we go ahead and straighten this back out? About there and we can hit a bumper. How do you guys feel about switching? Because I think switching is about the way we're going to go with this area. Just since it's right next to the lake, and I don't really want it to be too terrible looking. 
I don't want one with rail. I want one without rail. I don't think. I think we're just gonna have to leave it. Okay. Can't really tell it's floating, right? But why don't we just make a switching yard? Build train, build a train manifest if you guys will here. I don't think that'd be too bad. And if I hate the idea later, we can trade it out and rework on it. That hill is going to be a problem though. But I think we can. Oh, that box. Okay. If we really needed to. We can probably put in two more tracks, and then that third track can kind of curve it out, so it's not all on the water. The Cook Mogul. You like the Cook Mogul? I think that one... I didn't mind it too much. I never used it, I don't think. Just Class 125 is probably going to be my favorite so far. It's pretty strong. Um, it's also pretty heavy. But when I was looking, I was kind of... Cook, the Cook 260. But I think I know which one you're talking about. I think it's no it's the 260 I think is what you're talking about one of these guys huh or the 280 I didn't figure it out too much I'm just gonna keep resetting it when I need to the day and night cycle is kind of confusing to me I have it to 60 minutes, and when it gets dark, I'm just going to reset it. If if it looks bad, or if we're doing track work or something, if we're running train, I'm probably going to leave it. So, we have a good amount of track here, and I want to mimic that. Let's go ahead and straighten it out to there. And I think what we'll do from here... I think is what we want is a switch left. Let's see. Yeah. Because then, no, we don't. Hmm. I want to demolish this track. What am I doing? I don't know if that's actually the way we want to go. We want to be able to... I think we're going to want to do it like this. So then... We can get in a left, I think it was. And don't mind that. That's going to be gone. There we go. We got some more straight track that is barely clipping into the ground. All right, go ahead and throw another bumper in. So yeah, it's just a little longer, but I think it's gonna look pretty good. And let's go ahead and do some rock logging, rock logging. Yeah, I tried adjusting it like that, Red Boy, and the, it still didn't really want to work for me. I, I was just kind of confused, and I didn't want to spend my whole day playing with it. Uh, let's go ahead and throw in one more switch left. And then from there, I think this one will be our track that's going to be able to turn around. So we'll demolish these switches, right? Actually, we'll probably want that other one. But we'll need that switch on the other side. So let's go ahead. Put that one in. And this one, we can hit with a track. Go into freeform mode here. And we will check it out. Look at that. There's a nice little curvature in here. 
So it's not that big of a yard. We can always, it's expandable. But I think this yard will do well. Nope, trains don't derail on these tracks. Okay. Freeform, or turn the freeform off there. And then from here, we need to start turning. So we'll probably do about 110 meter turn. Oh, it's going to go into the water again. Is it? I'm just... I might be able to completely turn it off. I'm not sure. Okay, it's not coming out in the water at all. So we can actually do that. So we'll bring it out and start curving but we're gonna have to increase the grade too at the same time but we don't want a strong grade because when we're coming out of this way we're probably gonna have loaded train so let's go ahead and turn up 0.5 oh no not negative 0.5 we want the regular 0.5 so let's go ahead and hit that there we'll go ahead and just do it in little segments here so we can get about a good height and call it a day. It's gradually going up. And maybe we can do more yards like this in the future. Or even add more track again. With it. You know what? For that part, we're gonna do a retaining wall. Uh, but we're gonna do we're gonna do some yards in the future. I hope you guys enjoy the, the setup for the yard. Uh my is back off let's turn it back up to five percent and that's gonna go right through hell so we're gonna have to have a one percenter one and a half Ooh. and not on that curve okay what am i doing okay let's go back to like right here come back down to one to curve it that way what what does half a percent look no 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 gosh dang it okay come back in come back this way. half a percent doesn't look too bad and that will go into the water so what i'm thinking is about right here i don't really like the grass just a little retaining wall uh, but we can go ahead and get rid of those lo rocks logs rocks get rid of those rocks there and we will get on curving this track around and connecting it back into our main line but we also will need to do some other stuff with that you know. oh yeah there's some new bridge wait new oh i think let's do this one we'll do it in a different color though what color do we want I'm going to do creosote. I was thinking something like this with the water and with the 5.5% grade. I think that wouldn't look too bad. I'm just hoping that's not going to be a pain in the butt to get it through the other side. But we'll have to see. But yeah, if we look from over here, I mean, it's a little bridge, dark, obviously, but it's a nice little bridge. I think it looks good. So yeah, we can curve, curve around this way. Probably get the part two or section two of the rail. Probably going to be getting into some weird looking 
terrain. All right, so another. Hmm. I think we're gonna need to come back down though. Because if you look, that's that's a lot of rail or a lot of dirt, I should say. But if we bring it down a half, uh, we're gonna need a wall. Wall or another bridge. New grade calculator tool. No, I have not. There's a new grade calculator tool. I also don't think I'm on the beta version anymore. Um, if anybody's confused by that, that's another thing. I'm not on beta. Uh, we'll bring that back down a half percent. So it's kind of just like a little 130 meter curve through the woods here, through the birch trees. Oh, cutting trees are so yummy. I think that's probably on the beta um, side of things. They have beta and the regular now. And I haven't opted to go back into the beta. And that could have been one of my problems why it wasn't loading before too, so... I don't want to mess things up if it's going too good. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get some of these birch trees cut. Um, get these fuckers out of here. We don't need them here. Come on. The saw mill should have cut these things down by now. Okay. Um, more birch. Get out of here. Yeah, I think it is a beta feature. But yeah, we'll get some of these trees chopped up here. Get them, get them gone, girl. And see what we can do here. What are you guys' thoughts about the uh, new video I posted? I hope you guys enjoyed it. Alright, so that is taken down. We've got a nice little clearing here. Maybe we could spread it out a little bit if we would like, but I'm not sure. We got these mud piles. And swampy marshes. And I don't even know where we are anymore. I think we need to keep it at 110. I see a rail track over there, but is it going to be... Who knows? We'll have to see. But trees. Yes, I know. Tried making a little time lapse, but it didn't really look like it was going too quick. But I put it in like the length of that song. So there was a lot more time cutting those trees down last time, but hey, whatever works, right? All right, so I think we're probably to a nice level to where we can come back down with ground. Maybe. I did the one section, first section. Oh, yeah. Gonna be a little high up. Could probably bring it down just a bit more. But yeah, I think we're just gonna keep this 130 meter curve as we go around here and see how far we can get us. Probably put in a little bridge there. Holes, maybe. Hopefully this doesn't, my road bed doesn't wash out. No, just kidding. All right. I'm just trying to see where we're at. Weird. We're like out in the middle of nowhere. We need to come back to here. 
So it might take us a second, but we'll get it. Looks like the ground gets deeper again right here. So let's just throw in a nice, nice little bridge. Yeah. Messing around with the terrain a little bit. You know what I mean? Go from bridge to a wall bit. Uh, we're probably just doing a big circle now. Wait, no. We still need to keep curving. This is a long track at 130 meters. I see. Hope it was a good video, I suppose. Uh, we do have some more hilly terrain right here. So what we're gonna do, throw in some more bridge one. Okay. Uh, we can start turning this out, I think. Actually, let's just leave that. Let's go run over and see where our switch is. I think it's back out that way. So let's check and see if our switch is anywhere near us. Oh, our train's by our switch. Okay. So that's where we need to go. So we're a little over curved now. I, I think that is a beta feature as well. I haven't opted into beta yet. Con, or con, red boy. Con. No, I, I, I'm I still on the regular version, so that, that's not been updated into the uh, regular railroads online. And I don't know, because I, I do like not having so many bugs. And it was buggy last time we were playing, and I, I don't know. We'll have to see. Just have to see how it goes. But right now it's been running fine so i think we're gonna leave it for now so now i know where we need to aim for so 110 oh yeah no i can yeah. There's this. This is what you're talking about. Oh. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. Then you can just kind of throw yourself back to where you're at. That's kind of cool. Yeah. In beta, you can do it with track. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to what we were doing here. Oh, uh, we need to start straightening this out. That's for sure. Go ahead and keep straightening this out. And again, let's uh, change this here. We'll see, like, if I go here and I change this at all, I'm gonna say we'll do it one minute. And then we'll do 59 minute daytime. Oh. It's gonna go by quick. Look at the moon. Look how quick the moon is going. All right, so right here we will put in a bridge. Oh, 
I lost our train. Okay, I see our train. Hmm. Didn't think that was going to work. So when I was trying that on the... Before I started recording or doing recording and stuff, it was like... Whenever I type it in like that, it wouldn't want to keep it that way. Okay, we'll put in a bridge there. The moon has him. He, it, he's late. He's late for his job interview. Okay, so... Now I think we should probably run over there and check out and see exactly where we need to be. Come on, logging camp. Let's go. I like how the lantern is up here with me too. That's cool. All right. So from here, we're going to need another switch. Probably not that. We want to switch right. We'll keep this one going straight. There we go. And then this track here is going to be our buddy boy. Hmm. It was going the right way. So we'll go ahead and throw this in. Probably about 100. 200 meters. 200 meter curve. Let's see how that goes. Well, it ain't going to go anywhere. It's ground. We got to go up. Let's just do a 10% grade. Yeah. Just kidding. Okay, so let's redo that then. Give it a 1%. And hopefully this will give us enough clearance. All right, we'll do it there. And then from here, we can bring back down the grade. All right, and we can kind of straighten this track out more because we're getting closer to the point. So we'll kind of do something like that. And the sun's coming out. Ooh, that's bright on my eyes. Uh, if we go ahead and we... I don't know what we want to do. Probably do fit section. Probably just straighten it out. Kind of looks like it's ready to just be straightened. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Heavy grading. Only 1%. Wasn't nothing, anything too crazy that I had before. Okay, so let's go ahead and probably put some more bridge in here. some bridge about right there and we're gonna bust out some wall and then we're gonna go down 0.5 we're gonna see nope down 0.5 sir
Let's just see where this takes us. Look how close that is. Okay. That is enough for me to do this. Bam. We're going to throw in an old bridge. Old style. Freeform. What you doing curving like that? So that's basically half percentage all the way down. At least that's how it was with that wall. Yep. And that's how we're doing it. So we got a turnaround successfully installed. Actually, no, it's not successfully installed. We don't have it connected from that part to that part. So let's just do a run around and grab all these trees as we go. And just get these guys all chopped. I'm going to pull that lantern back away. Don't need it. It's kind of burning up my hand as I'm holding it, running around. No, it's daytime. Why do I need a lantern right now? So I'll put it in my back pocket. Uh, we'll go ahead and cut all these birds down. All this others. All these, all these dang trees in our way. We can't derail our train. Yeah, that tree I think is good. We fell off the track. That's okay. If anything, it's a heavy curve. It's a heavy curve right here. All right, cut that baby down. Put some of these guys down. Whoa, this is just a bunch of tree. A bunch of, a bunched up amount of trees. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. There's like seven trees right there in the one tree. They said, screw variety. We're just going to put a whole bunch in one. And make it look like it's a variety tree. Yes, it is it is easier doing all that, doing the freeform building and connecting the points just like that, Red Boy. But the only problem, the only issue I would have I do have with that stuff. We're gonna leave that one in there. The only issue I have with that stuff is that when you're doing that, you don't know how the grade is. But I guess there's that new gradient tool. I don't know if that helped showing what grades you got. But there we go. So I don't see any rocks that are going to protrude, any saplings that are going to protrude our run. That one, it can go. That one can go. So yeah, we have our little yard. A little. And we can bring them in, put them in here, load them up here, bring out the loaded ones, push the loaded ones that way into the on track. We really needed to we can turn around and go that way and come back around the other way okay so let's see what we can do here try freeform see what it does let's see Let's see if you can be correct. I just have nothing now. See what it does. Now let's see. Ooh. I like it. That's the only part I don't like. That ain't bad. That ain't one bad curve at all. Okay, we got some work ahead of us. Let's go ahead and run back over to the sawmill and bring some track out.
uh, curve it to the right there. Probably a solid 150. And we need to bring that grade up. I can already tell you that now. Actually, we should probably keep it straight just for a little bit. Give some, some of the cards a little less stretch, stress on the uh, deal. Let's go ahead and keep that like that. But let's go ahead and pop that for a second. We'll do 150. Oh, not 90. That's a little too tight for me at least. And go to our infamous wall here. See, the only problem I have right now is that mound in the way down there so i wonder if that's gonna do it that's going up just a bit like that and then keep curving it i don't think we need that precise grade or that heavy of grade Good enough for me, red boy. Let's see what we can do here. No, I don't want precise mode. I want free mode. My favorite filling? As in, filling for what? issue I got right now I need to bring this up Let's see how this goes. No filling on the track. So you just like have floating track or like just track on the ground. Okay, good enough for Z German soldier here. Nothing is all over the place or anything. We got track, got some filling. Okay. We have a turnaround over there. Um, We could probably start doing some operations. Before we got to clear these logs. Should we buy some more uh, cars? I think we should buy some more cars. Go get those hooked up. I think so too. Being able to add in a switch. Kind of like how like trains. Trains 19 can do it. Or 
any of the trains games where you can just drag it back out from somewhere and it puts in a switch. That is my favorite part about trains. All right, that's gone. That's gone. You're gone. Bye bye. Ah, yes, that voting track. So what kind of props do we got? We got signs. I don't know if that's the right sign to put in. And I don't want to get choked on. Uh, let's go ahead. Prop, sign rail. Putting in a slow sign. <laughs> All right. Now we can get to our train. baby I got a telegraph down there we're gonna go get some more cars Get it rolling. What a beautiful sight. Let's get this train back up to the freight depot and buy some more of these logging cars. And let's go back up to the uh, logging camp. Probably won't be streaming for too much longer, but I do appreciate anybody who stopped by who's gave that like, that button, a like, or give me, give me that thumbs up button. I do appreciate it. And we will get it backed up. down below and see tell me what kind of cars you guys want to see do you just want to see a couple more of the regular old deals or whatever and do what we can do from there we're going too slow now oh our brake's still on that's probably why if our brake wasn't on that probably would have helped probably would have helped Just go over the pond. All right. We 
we'll get her back up here and buy some more cars here. Small cars are better according to Khan. Okay. Oh yeah, we'll get a get some more of these uh Craig Sugarcane logging cars. Uh we're gonna apply the brake here and I'm gonna hop out of the train. And let's go ahead and purchase some. We have twenty one hundred dollars in the bank. So that ain't too bad. So let's go ahead and go to locomotives. Let's go to the sugarcane log flat. We gotta make sure we number them right. Ooh, we could get different colors. I think red. 102 ZGRR, the German Railroad. We'll order that. And we got it in there. This is 103. ZGRR order. Well, that says Lake Valley. I'm going with the German, the German soldier railroad. <laughs> I don't know. What, what do you guys have in mind? I've just been doing ZGRR, I suppose. Didn't even think about the name of the railroad. Uh, we'll do 104 and We'll call out a day with that. One, two, three, four, five. Five cards. Now we'll do one more. We're going to do one more. One of two. Oh no, it's one of five. Z G R. All right. Four more cards. So let's go ahead and grab our cars. Get them hooked up. That pin's still in. And the Montezuma's going to roll back. And we're going to collect up these cars. I like that lore. You got some good ideas, Red Boy. <laughs> that is for sure. Okay, we need to slow this bad baby down. It's going way too quick. Come on, you know you want to get to him. Come on. I think that's beta too. I think that auto coupling is on the beta. Oh, you joke. Are you kidding me? Wow. Angle is really weird on these guys. All right. Those two guys are connected. And let's go ahead. And put it 
that. All right, reverser, we'll do forward. Turn the regulator up. Whistle, so we can get on going. It might be. It might be. Kokushibo disappeared earlier. Didn't say bye or anything. Bad days. <clears throat> past this uh, switch here and we're gonna stop it and we are going to switch those last two cars and get those loaded and I'll probably call that the end of the stream for today I do appreciate it but we will be back on Sunday to do another live stream here and hopefully the quality has been good for you guys my autosave settings I'll show you I don't know where it's at. Ten minutes. Mm. Yeah. Probably maybe thirty minutes. Okay. Change it to thirty minutes. Okay, let's get the Monizuma reversed here. Turn that break off. Pesky little break. But the chopping is just so awesome. Look at that. Backed up and take them down to the log and camp. Maybe we'll even bring it down to the freight depot so that we can get it ready for the switch around. And that could be like the start of the video. Not the video, the stream. I don't think there's going to be another video recorded in between the stream and here. Alright. It's game time. Hopefully this still, this stuff still works. We'll watch this coupler. Breaks off. Is this break on? That breaks on. That should be okay. No, I have not tried the Lima yet. Or the Lima, however you want to pronounce it. The Lima Bean. Alright. Take that brake off. Let's run back up to the train. Throw it in there. Hit the brake. Alright. Start chuffing to the uh, logging camp. So that's the new best engine. I will have to put that in mind, right boy.
All right, we'll bring these print the cars up towards the switch and reverse her on towards the logging camp. I think I might just end this stream at the logging camp. We can load it next time. I think that that'll be a good stopping point. Because once I load it, I'm going to want to drive it again. All right. Nighttime's coming around. The moon's got meetings to go to, so it's not going to be here long. Go ahead and slow down the regulator. Hopefully we don't lose any cars. Make sure you guys keep count. We got six. Two, four, six. Keep count of them. Six percent reverse. There we go. And once we get down to the logging camp, we'll put a telegraph office down. All right, let's go ahead and enter the vehicle, get the regulator going. Let's get on reversing. I might look into doing another, like, the dual streaming. I have one on Twitch, too. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. That is not my main concern, which is not something I'm worried about. But I want people to watch. I'd rather have them watch on YouTube. Oh, bless me. How do you on there? All right. In honor of Kokoshibo, full speed. Seventeen miles an hour, let's get it. Oh, not the gnomes. I haven't seen a gnome in a while, Red Boy, and if you start talking about the gnomes, they're gonna start showing back up and start derailing our trains again. And you know, Government doesn't like that. Government doesn't like spending their money on re-railing gnome derailed trains. Come on. We should know this. We are the German Railroad. So, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what else to tell you. DGRR, you know what I'm saying? Get out of my way, gnomes. No, our security is very high level. And hopefully we've gotten rid of all the gnomes who are... Um, Practical tactics for for legal purposes. This is a joke. Anyways, let's go ahead and get it reversed up to the logging camp there, and we will get this baby parked up and ready for the next stream. Red boy, I do appreciate you commenting, chatting below, uh, Tokushibo, whenever you were back and talking. That was awesome. I do appreciate you stopping by and saying hi. Hope to see you guys again in another stream. Um, I do appreciate it. Uh, Sundays are going to be our new fun, uh, streaming time. It'll be the 10 a.m. usually, maybe. Maybe earlier, I don't know. We'll see. we'll see how it goes. But I don't think I have enough track space for this. Oh, wrong button. Break. I have enough space. Do I have enough space? No. All right. That is where we're going to end it here, guys. I do appreciate your guys' likes and 
comments. I do appreciate the support that the channel has been getting. Um, I, I'm sorry for the delay in videos and whatnot, but I'm hoping to make up for it in some way. You know, making these videos, making these live streams, make it a little more enjoyable for you guys. And I hope to see you guys all next time. Next time in the stream. This has been Z German Soldier, and I will see you guys on Sunday, 10 a.m. If you guys want to stay tuned, I will be putting a broadcast out at some point. But this will be ending it here for me. I do appreciate anybody who stopped by and hit that like button. We will see you guys in the next one.